Hey Team USA fans, day two of practice here in Austin, Texas. I'm here with defensive coordinator Danny Cowgill. Coach, can you kind of tell me how is it for you to prepare these defensive players when you haven't really watched that much film on the offense? Basically, you know, you just go off what you've what you've seen on film and and other than that, football really doesn't change. I mean, a reach block's always been a reach block. Uh, you know, a jump through is a jump through. Curl flat is curl flat. So you try to teach the basic concepts and how you defend them and then basically work on fundamentals and, and try to hone those. So how much do you think you have to rely on their natural ability to tackle when you guys really aren't doing very much of that here in practice? Yeah, well, I mean, those, these guys were chosen for a reason and, and they can all tackle. I mean, if they couldn't tackle, then, then, then you fire the GM, you know? But, uh, you know, you still, you, you can still work tackling without, you know, taking them to the ground. And that's what we do. It, it, we, we focus on body position and getting, you know, coming to balance and, and, and uh, running the feet on contact, you know, the basics of tackling. So defensive guys are naturally pretty aggressive. How do you kind of rein that aggression in and help them do what you want here on the field? We, uh, well, you know, again, we're working with each other. We tell them, you know, the trick of the trade that I use is have an NFL mentality. I mean, they only got so many guys on their roster, so they can't, you know, bang each other up. So take care of each other, be, be professional, and, and how we approach everything and uh, because we need all everybody on the field on Tuesday night. So can you tell me, have there been any standouts as far as uh, leadership abilities? Yeah, they, they're, there's been quite a few. I mean, all these guys have been, you know, great leaders. Usually, one of the things I always fear in these all-star games is you get guys that, that think that they're bigger than the game. You know, they've been coddled and, and loved up through the recruiting process. But every one of these kids, and, and we've said that in, in our coaches' meetings, man, we are so lucky. These guys are just, they're, they're great kids. And so that makes coaching a lot easier, you know, when you don't have to, you know, coddle a certain person. So every one of the kids have been great leaders. What about as far as football ability? Tell me, is there any standout so far? Any surprises? Uh, you know, I. I don't know as far as, you know, surprises because, you know, these guys, again, they were chosen for a reason. They're, they're very talented. I guess when you look at it, some of the surprises is, uh, you know, certain kids may be going and go, whoa, these guys are really getting a good player. I don't know if they realize how good a player they're getting. So, you know, they're all talented. How does practicing against this all-star offense really set your guys up for success on Tuesday? Uh, it's good. You get a, you get a clean look. And so, you know, when you're going over film and, and showing the kids, in, in certain high school settings, sometimes you get, you know, a, a kid may not be as talented, so the look is not as good. You're getting a good, crisp look, so there's no gray area. The kid looks, son, that is a reach block. We, we, <laughs> you can see it right there. And so it makes it easier to coach in the film room. Well, great. We are so excited for Tuesday, and we will be back tomorrow with another coach, so stay tuned.